Uh, we tweeted out, what should we make next now that we have the backpack and screwdriver out? Is, was there anything that you read that you were like, actually, this is a good idea or something we should consider? There's definitely some good ideas that I saw. Um, I saw someone posted that we should do a glow-in-the-dark screwdriver. Um, I messaged that to Nick, who said apparently it was already on the list, and then Yvonne said that she had suggested it at some point. So apparently it was already like oh, wow. on the you know, random future ideas list. I'd say some of the most obvious ones are a smaller version of a backpack. Get a lot of people asking for that. Yeah. RGB screwdriver? Uh, that I don't think we have planned anytime soon. Smaller version of the backpack, though, uh, maybe costed down as well. Yeah, I think people might end up disappointed at how little it ends up affecting the cost because most of the cost is in the construction, not the raw materials. And the construction oh. is really complicated. It's it's a really complex bag to manufacture. That's a big part of why it costs so much. Um, I saw a really interesting post mm. breaking down how much we've made on Backpack and Screwdriver on Reddit. Um, no way that's accurate. It was not accurate. Um, our costs, so I just want to make it really clear. Uh, it, it expected or it estimated our costs at 25% of our retail price. That is not even close on either backpack or screwdriver. Our costs are substantially higher than that on both of them because materials, construction, logistics, they all cost a lot of money. More than you, obviously, more than you think. They're profitable. We're making money. It, like, it's good. It's it's good business. Uh, but it's not, uh, yeah, we're not making, what would that work out to? Like 400, 400 points on them? That's, that's not happening. Um... Other stuff. I mean, yeah, we'd we'd love to do more variants of the screwdriver. There's um, an email from you that I need to respond to. I've been mulling it over. I think super no, like aggressively no. Oh wait, what did I say? Is this not? It was stream? about um, buying up a certain company. Buying a that company is making a thing that I theoretically wanted at one point. Oh, in time. we should just talk about it. No, we should not. Uh, I I pitched to Luke. I was like, "Hey, we have officially launched more tools than the Coal Bar Hammer Company. <laughs> Maybe we should just offer to buy them and finally push it over the finish line." No, 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 no. For 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 a wide variety of reasons, I think no, 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 no. I'd love to hear more about your reasons. Um, it has taken this long. What do you think the state of the project is? I don't know. If you buy the company, do you buy their debt? Mm. I don't know. Maybe, but do you make the coal bar hammer? And do you make that do debt you, back? Do you, Let's go! Do you want to make the coal bar hammer? <laughs> Would you be better off just sicking Kyle or whoever else on ice? It makes no sense. But let's say you even wanted to make a hammer. I think you'd be better off just having him design a hammer instead of just buying out this probably at this point in time, not even good design for a hammer. And like, it tries to do way too many things. If all you had it do was be able to break into a crowbar and also be a hammer and that was it and just limited the other stuff, he could probably make one that was way better. I have some bad news, Luke. What? Top message. Or I should call it top keckage. <laughs> from Nick Light. Oh. Not gonna lie, I thought about the coal bar idea a month or so ago. I think it's hilarious, and I'm down. How many people are even gonna get the joke? It doesn't. It doesn't have to be a joke. Maybe we can actually make it good. Why would you want to make a ha what relevant? Okay, backpack. You bought it. You backpack. bought it. I get it. I didn't buy it for me. <laughs> I have a hammer. It's great. It's a hunk of metal that goes up and then goes both directions. But and is I can it hit also it a pry bar? And it's <laughs> no. And all the other yeah. crap it does? <laughs> Darn it! Ugh. I don't. I don't think most people are going to get the joke. It doesn't even have to be a joke. What if it's just good? I'd just buy a good the pull bar hammer for my dad. Says Conrad. 
Heck yeah. We can all buy one if for we, our dads. I was going to say, if we, sell, if we sell a cool bar hammer the indirect, indirectly to everyone's dad. <laughs> then it's fine. <laughs> We're doing great. Great business model. In all seriousness, um, I do uh, have one that I'm pretty excited about that is very early stages. So who knows if it'll ever even make it across the finish line. But I want to do a battery bank that is mm. kind of Steam Deck style. So oh. don't replace the cells. But also, if you're going to do it, here's how to do it. Yeah, that'd be sweet. So the idea would be like the last battery bank you would ever buy. Yeah. Um, if it's if it's possible, you know, I'd love to figure out if there's a way for us to make the firmware upgradable so that if, you know, let's say someone like Nintendo who uses USB PD, but in kind of a, a wonky, different than everyone else way, so your Switch can die if you use a standard power brick, like... Um, you know, that sort of thing, right? So if there's a way for us to firmware update it so that we can account for things like that, obviously things bad things might still happen. But if we can continue to to tweak it over time, I think that would be a super valuable product. And I think that's one of the big things uh, that we're, we're really going to continue to focus on as we go forward, because that's what's really differentiated backpack and screwdriver is we figured out what we wanted to exist and then made it exist, right? Like with something like a t-shirt, I think there's a little less room for innovation, but for something like that, um, that battery bank, I think absolutely we are identifying something that is a, is a problem and we're fixing it. I hate to say it. Yeah. It's been said a million times. It's been thought about. I think it might've even been decided to not do, but if you do socks and if you do sandals, You've literally completed the outfit. You could walk outside respectively. Maybe not respectively. You could walk outside legally wearing entirely LCT clothing. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty sick. I understand it's hard to do, but that would be pretty sick. And the amount of people that would buy socks and sandals, LCT edition, I think is, I think is pretty solid. I think there's a business argument there as well. Um... I need new socks pretty bad. I've been holding out for like years. The real motivation. Yeah. Oh, for I'm being transparent about it. Um, it's time. I have to go buy new socks. So we're not going to hit my time window, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I think that'd be sweet. Um, Darn tough. If you guys want to work together, hit me up. Yeah. Um, hmm. Deodorant. Frankly, we don't make anything. We, we couldn't make anything strong enough for our audience. <laughs> um, Love you guys, but bare feet is nerd hygiene legal. Not everywhere. There are places that you have to have coverings on your feet. 